we celebrate a beautiful night for MPBL basketball as tonight marks the return of the MPBL inside the Olivares Gymnasium. This is the first time that the Paranaque Patriots will be hosting on their home floor since December 18, 2019. And tonight they face Marcia Arellano, Adrian Silada, and the rest of the Manila Stars. As for Paranaque, they will be led by a coach, by of course uh, Coach Mike Sagigit, one of his college players, Mark Omega, Jello Razon, and the rest of the yellow shirts that have a good crowd supporting them here in the Olivares Coliseum. It is Paranaque versus Manila for the third game of your MPBL Saturday as we come to you live on MPTV Channel 98 on Signal TV, Facebook, YouTube, and we also have our delayed telecast on 1PH starting at 9 p.m. Now we turn you over to Miguel Perez for our starting lineups. The Manila Stars and your Paranaque Patriots live on the MPBL Facebook page, YouTube channel, and on MPTV Signal Channel 98, the 2023 OK Bet Manny Pacquiao's MPBL Season 5, presented by Extreme. Let us now make way for the starting lineups, beginning with the Manila Stars. Starting at forward number 17, Andrian Celada. Also at forward number 10, Maki Acosta. Coming in at center number 7, Kent Lau. Two guard number 2, Jason Mancao. And also at guard number 18, Marcy Arellano. Head coach for the Manila Stars is Tylon Darwan. Assistant coaches Bimbot Angelo, Johan Dublao, Mamad Ulit, and Alex Testado. Team governor is Cesar Mancao. Team manager is Richard Castro. Head of basketball operations, Mr. Ryan Ripalda. Team owners are Raymond Ang. General manager, Ado Salazar. Now, Olivares College Gym. Get on your feet, because it's time to meet the starting five of your Paranaque Patriots. Starting at guard number 11, Keith Pido. Also at guard number 99, Jello Razan. The man in the middle, number 7, Mark Omega. At forward, number 25, James Abugan. And the other forward, number 19, is the Paranaque Pacers playing team manager, Jamal Vizcara. Head coach for the Paranaque Patriots is Mike Sagigit. Assistant coaches, Stephen Mopera, Barry Tobias, Tito Aguilar, Syke Miguelino, by Elorde and Olan Santos. Team manager is Jamal Vizcara. Team owners are... Team owner is Honorable Vice Mayor Joan. Here we have the starters for Manila versus Paranaque. Marcia Arellano, Jason Mancao, Ken Lau, Baki Acosta, and Andrian Silada will begin for the stars. And as for the Patriots, we have Keith Pido, Jello Razon, Mark Omega, James Abugan, and playing team manager Jamal Biscara. This is the first home court defense of Paranaque since December 18, 2019. And as you can see, they have a sizable crowd wearing yellow. We are seeing yellow balloons as well to oh. support their very own young squad. It's actually a good mixture of young players with this guy, Jamal Vizcara, <laughs> who is a proven veteran in the MPBL. Oh, this crowd, most of this uh, crowd has been here since 2.30 in the afternoon. Oh, yes. That's why they excited. It's been almost four years that we have hosted here in Olivares. Omega on the high-low. He could not finish. Battle inside that stopped away in favor of the Manila Stars. Folks, we would like to thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Nico Salva and Sam Coloso. This is the third game of your MPBL Saturday following the overtime victory of Nevaisia against Marikina. And then the early victory as well of Bulacan versus Bicol. Mancao kicks it out. Here's Andrian Celada, who's called. 
for a traveling violation. Celada shuffled his feet on that play, and that's why it's called for a travel. And Celada has had himself a great season so far. He is number six in the league in terms of scoring, averaging 16 points per game. Well, he has always been a scorer, very versatile. He used to play the four a little bit in high school and college, and uh, he's, he's very capable of playing three to four positions. There's a miss from Biscata, but Pido is there for the putback. <laughs> First two points here in Paranaque for the Patriots. Courtesy of number 11, Keith Pido, who's trying to stop Marcy Arellano. Good tap. Turnover, and Pido will go all the way for an easy layup. That's good defense by Pido and Arellano, especially knowing the fact that Marcy's coming off of yet another triple-double in their previous game against Picol. Here's Jason Mancao. In Andrea Ancelada, hand off to Marcy with 11 on the shot clock. Screen by Kent Lau. Marcy uses it. He needs a teammate. They go to Maki Acosta, who certainly has that range. No good. Rebound Pido. Forward pass. Abugan on the finish. Back to back pass break points for Paranaque. 6 to 0 run. Manila timeout. As you can see, the crowd is pumped up as they support their home team. That's a great forward pass by Keith Pido, who has been involved in all of the scoring opportunities so far for Paranaque. Four points and now an assist to the point guard. And you see the first two points in the ball game for James Abuga. The early score is 6-0. to zero. Let's talk about the previous game of the Paranaque Patriots. They won by four points in Bulacan versus the Negros Muscovados. Yeah, Paranaque coming off a win, just like Manila. Paranaque shot a decent 44%, shot well from the free throw line with 81%, 41 rebounds, and 28 points in the paint. They just had to control all of those departments because the three-point shooting was working on the other end for Pia Longa and the rest of the Negros Muscovados. 6-0 hour early score. Andre Ancelada is met at the rim. That's by three defenders, no less. He just uh, shifted to a different speed. He was walking the ball down and just with a burst of speed went for that layup. He did mention this guy is a proven scorer. He was once a mythical five selection in the NCAA. Ancelada in the season... Besides him being the number six best scorer in the league, he is also number seven in terms of field goal shooting. 52% from the field. And he's doing it as a jump shooter. That's a very high percentage, especially if you don't play in the post. Salada converts on the second try. Manila coming in. They have a two and five record. And then on the other end, Paranaque. They are at three and five. Vescara facing up. Jamal taking his time. The veteran against Celada. Oh, good steal by Jason Manca. That's what he brings to this Manila team. Just reading that pass perfectly. Coming up with a steal and two fast break points. High low. Omega could not catch it. Turnover again. Manca will give it up to Marcy Arellano. Arellano had 10 points, 13 rebounds, and 15 assists in their previous game. Kent Lau misses. Rebound Abugan. Here's Keith Bido. Serving the floor. Running. Spinning. Top pass. Inside. Mark Omega scores. What a move and pass by Keith Bido. Getting this home crowd really excited. 8-3 to three hour score. Celada. There's a pick from Kent Lau. Andrian. He gets the shooter's bounce. Whether he's doing it as a small forward or as a power forward, Andrian Silada is definitely a proven scorer. Another turnover here for Paranaque. Here's Marcy Arellano. 
They go to the cutter. Jason Mancao on the reverse. Four points for Jason Mancao. Just like that, we're tied. Eight all. Four minutes gone by. Here's James Abugan. Malabas, Mark M. Omega, who also has that shot. Just short. Rebound, Jello Razon. Tough fade. We go to the other end. Marcy calling out the play for Andre Ancelada. They give it back to their point guard with 13 on the shot clock. Arellano going to the cutter. Celada, one more pass. Kent Lau, high looper. Nope. And here's James Abugan. They go to Pido. He was fouled by Marcy to stop the fast break. Now we bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with Okay Bet. Together we win. A beautiful spin and defeat in the last second by Keith Pido finding Mark Omega. Keith Pido just making things happen for this team. Four points from him and two assists to start this ball game. It's been all Keith Pido who now inbounds to Jello Razon. Kyle Napes, by the way, has been inserted in by Marikina or by Manila at that. Razon off to the left. Eight all hour score. Celada being defended by Abugan. Andrian sizing up his defender. That short from three. Razon on to Abugan. Bit of a struggle now for Paranaque offensively. Vizcara. They go to Omega inside. Size advantage. He is fouled. Omega just using his size advantage really well, spinning, getting the foul, earning himself two free throws from the line. Omega was the best player in the previous game of Paranaque against Negros, tallying 19 points and 9 rebounds. This guy has been under the tutelage of coach Mike Sagigit alongside Jello Razon for 7 to 8 years now. They are still college players playing for Perpetual. 10 to 8 hour score. Here's Kyle Napes. Over halfway done in the opening quarter. Jason Mancao against Jello Razon. Here's Celada. Napes will pick and pop. They go to Acosta. That short. Rebound Vizcara. Ooh! Risky pass. Saved by Pido. Here's Keith, onto the trailer. Jamal Vizcara all the way, but he's blocked. Mancao in trouble. They go to Napes. Thought about it. They go back to Marcy. 13 on the shot clock. Marcy Arellano sizing up Vizcara. Great escape. Turnover. Numbers for Paranaque. James Abugan all the way for two. Zulada looking to get the chase down black. But uh, Paranaque just able to capitalize with the three against one fast break. Celada was also pleading his case that there was an offensive foul, but the referees won't give it to him. Here's Maki Acosta. Manila down by four. Celada screened by Napes. Five seconds to go on the shot clock. Marcy misfires. Rebound Omega. And here's Keith Pido, who has been the answer offensively so far for Paranaque. They go to Razon. Now it's Omega working with Jello. Razon pulls up. Yes. Paranaque running that triangle pinch post action. Working well for them. How about that? We also have symbols <laughs> present in tonight's outing for Paranaque <laughs> as part of their crowd. Maki Acosta. Good tough defense by James Abugan. And Abugan forces the turnover. Substitutions now to Bautista. Reggie Boy Basibas check in as we take a look at that pull up by Jello Razon. There we see that reversal pinch post action. Always a deadly weapon. And again, the symbols. <laughs> <laughs> in yellow as well. Boy, na boy, ang crowd natin dito. Oh, you gotta love this. Again, this is the first time that we are in Olivares since. 
December of 2019. Imagine that. Omega facing up. Now he attacks. Turnover. The other end we go. Tata Bautista. Cross court. Kyle Lapis. Three pointer is too strong. Rebound belonging to Paranaque. Viscara on the chase. Jamal on to the cutting. Razon, one more pass. Egan will bring it back up. Egan says, wait up, let's set it up. Two minutes and 13 in the opening quarter. 14 to 8 is our score. Abugan, hand off to Jeff Egan. That's good on oh, the mid range jump shot. You see a lot of that from Paranaque. That uh, handoff into a shot action. 16 to 8. Atta Bautista and company looking for answers now. Bautista against the pressure defense. They give it up to Marcy. Arellano. Bounce pass. Good feed to Kyle Napis. What a find by Marcy Arellano. That's why Marcy Arellano is number one in the league in assists per ball game at 9.6 per outing. 93 seconds in the opening quarter. Here's Jamal Vizcara. Give him space. He will fire. Just too strong. Oh, the Omega trying to creep in from behind. That's a good alley-oop. Marcy Arellano just looking so smart right now for Manila. He always has his head up. He's always surveying the floor, reading the defense, and uh, he just reads really well. Remember, Arellano had 15 dimes in their previous outing. Omega will go to Jeff Egan. Here's Jello Razon. Four-point lead for the Patriots. Razon escaping the defense. Bit too strong on the shot. <laughs> There's a whistle blown here in favor of the yellow shirts. You just love this crowd's reaction to that spin move. <laughs> That's the thing. Because it is Olivares, they are familiar to the Sea Lions, oh, yeah. their college team, oh. which Coach Mike Sagigit head coaches for. And then a lot of these players, some of them actually, not a lot, some of them have come from the Sea Lions program. Mm. Some of them familiar sila because player ni Coach Mike sa perpetual. Oh. So they've known him for a number of years, di ba? So yes. my following, my loyalty, oh. yan ang maganda. 16 to 12, here's Jeff Egan. Screened by Abugan. Egan, pull up. Good defense by Manila. They force a turnover. By the way, they have a veteran point guard inside for them. With Mascolado as Napes misfires. Napes missing his second three-point attempt. Here's Jeff Egan to try to answer back. Now he gets the foul. That's coming from Lazarte. Now Pariliagas will check in for the Paranaque Patriots. Okay lang talaga silang veterano dito eh. It's really mostly young guns for Coach Mike. Now this free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances. Ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Jeff Egan misses his first free throw. This guy coming off of 10 points and 3 boards in 11 minutes of play in their previous outing. 16 to 12 with 18 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Second free throw is a miss again. By the way, good to see Julius Pasculado back in the MPBL. Last year he played for Valenzuela. Here he is. Screen by Basibas. Pasculado kick out. Napes. Leaner. No good. And that will do it for our opening frame. Looks like we're uh, being set up for another good one here, Nico. It's, uh, this game looks uh, pretty promising. Uh -huh. Well, as for these uh, Paranaque faithfuls who were able to witness the second game at hand between Neva Isia and Marikina, they were already witnesses to the greatness in terms of basketball play that the MPBL has to offer. Now they're witnessing their home team and enjoying this four-point lead. Oh, um. Paranaque has been solid in their execution. They've been running that reversal pinch post into a hand of action. And it has been working well for them in the first quarter. 16 to 12, our score.
The Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League is coming to you live from the Olivares College Gymnasium. I'm Sam Poloso working the sidelines of this coverage. Sabi ni Coach Mike Sagigiit from the Paranaque Patriots. They're very happy to be back after four years. According to Coach Mike, they have the advantage today with their big men, but they have to stay out of trouble. Their goal is to run and attack Manila from the inside. Jeff Egan is here, but he's not 100% because of his Aquila strain. Sabi ni Coach, playing in front of their home court is enough motivation. Make your home crowd proud. Back to you guys. Thank you, Sam. That's actually a very serious injury if you think about it. An Achilles injury in basketball could be very lethal. That is one of the most dangerous injuries a player could have in basketball. So if you're uh, Egan, you have to be very careful. But as well, I'm sure he's very excited to play in their home floor. Now that was also a good point by Sam, pointing out that Paranaque has an advantage in terms of bigs. The question is, can they actually make the most out of it? As now... The Patriots are running. Jeff Egan will go to the trailer. They swing it to the left. Solis inside they go. Sorry miss for Pari Liagas, but he was pushed. So it's Reggie Boy Basibas who's called for the foul. Pari Liagas will now shoot. This is uh, actually Liagas' return to Paranaque. He's been bouncing around in this league from team to team. So Liagas, Liagas is a veteran. He's a welcome addition to any team here in the MPBL. Right. Last year he was a part of the Jensen Warriors who did make the playoffs. He's losing to Bacolod in the quarterfinals of the South. 18 to 12 hour score. Pascolado with his quickness. Turnover. Egan looking. Now he drives. Jeff Egan. Oh, he recovers. And somehow it becomes two points for Jeff Egan. Jeff Egan just out muscling Pascolado, creating space, finishing for two. On the other end, CJ Lazarte is fouled. You know, CJ actually has a good reputation for himself, especially in the Liga Labas that he has played for. You see this attack from Jeff Egan. He loses the handle, but somehow, some way, he was able to recover, resulting into two easy points. Lazarte makes the first free throw. Now, this guy is literally an undersized center for Manila. He is definitely undersized, but uh, you know he makes up for it with his strength. Yes, and with his guts. 20 to 13 hour score. Jeff Egan bringing down that basketball. Here's Paulo Castro getting it back from Parillagas. J Boy Solis. Former Bacolod player. Bounce pass. Egan on the receive. That's a good play by Paranaque. There we see it again. The pinch, pinch post action. Reversal to the handoff. And now, Egan has six points. It's been a struggle offensively for Manila. Masiba's asking for the ISO. He attacks. Tough shot, but he puts it in. Tough shot. Just a seven-point lead. Here's Paulo Castro. They go to Parillagas against Dazarte. Dumalabas, Javoy Solis. Shot clock reading 10. Solis. Try to go to the same play again. Martel shoots it and misses. Recovery. Good effort by Tata Bautista. And here's Pascolado. Julius bounce pass and Napes is fouled. It has been an up-tempo ball game. Both teams trying to push the pace. Well, Paranaque does love that type of pacing for themselves. They have a young team. They would want to run and run. Kyle Napis at the line. First free throw is a miss for the former Muntinlupa Cager. There is uh, Ira Pablo Napis watching. 
loving him from the sidelines. I mentioned Napes was part of Muntinlupa before in that Cagers team that went to the finals in the inaugural season of the MPBL. Just misfires. 22 to 15. Here's Keith Bido. Parillagas. Midrange shot is a miss for Paranaque. Recovery here. Good effort by the players. Recovery there again. And it's Paolo Castro getting the easy two. A good pass coming from Martel. Nine point lead for Paranaque. They've shared the basketball very well. And they've also sacrificed their bodies in order to create these opportunities. Just, just good effort from Paranaque. They're just working really hard, executing well, and that's why they have a nine point lead. Score is 24 to 15 with seven minutes and change remaining before halftime. We are coming back to you live from the Olivares College Gymnasium in Paranaque for the host home court for the first home court defense of Paranaque in the season. There we see Councillor Marvin Santos, Councillor Apiong de la Peña, and Councillor Tin Esplana at the sidelines. And of course, you see uh, Jamal Vizcara as well, alongside Vice Mayor Joan Villafuerte. Those are our Paranaque VIPs. Tata Bautista. He finds himself open. That is his speciality. That is his, that is his forte indeed. Sharp shooter. He is a well-known sharp shooter. 24 to 18 hour score. Martel. They go to Liagas. Malabas, Paulo Castro. Castro sizing up. Celada. Inside oh, he goes. A beautiful move from Paulo Castro. What a crossover, leaving his defender behind. 26 to 18, four points for Paulo Castro so far. Pasculado, his turn to give us the crossover, and that's an easy call for the referee. A foul on J-Boy Solis. Now we bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with Oki Bet. Together we win. Once upon a time, Paulo Castro played for Olivares in this very gym representing the Sea Lions. He transitioned quickly into the MPBL to turn out as one of the top scorers in the league's second season. He was once averaging 20 points per game. And as you can see, he still is flawless in terms of his scoring abilities. He's still very familiar in this gym. Yes. Tata Bautista. Again, he's open for three. You can't leave him open. You can't put a... You can't just let him rise up and shoot. He's going to make that 80% of the time if wide open. Now, once upon a time, Tata Bautista was making three-point records starting from his high school days. Castro to answer back. No good. Forward pass for Manila. Celada escaping. Almost traveled. Celada is just so athletic. Outrunning everybody. Extending and finishing. It's 26 to 23. Lead cut down to three now for Paranaque. Leon Martel. Pass to the right. Foul obtained by Clarence Singh. It was a hard foul given, but uh, he just went straight up. Good attack by Singh. Now this three point shot is brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. It just takes a split second for Tata Bautista to realize that there isn't a body right in front of him and he will make you pay. He will make you pay indeed. You always have to keep an eye on him. 
defend him beyond the three-point line. A couple of substitutions here. We have Clarence Singh at the line. He is one of the homegrowns of Paranaque, who did not even see action in their previous outing. He misses the first free throw. You can only imagine how the process is as well for the head coaches to think about deploying their homegrowns because it is a home game for your team. Yeah. Of course, you want your homegrown to be really be able to contribute, diba? Kasi yan ang sinusuportahan lalo na ng ating home crowd. 26-23, Archie Salo with a crossover. And he picks up the foul before the pass. Mark Racho is in the ball game as well to help him out. It's Gladys Singh who's called for that foul. Baseline inbound tayo. Almost halfway through the second quarter. A three-point lead for Paranaque. Inside, Archie tried to go to Maria Costa. Counter steal. That's good defense from Archie Salo. Grabe yung action in the hustle play na nakikita natin in this first half. It's actually the identity of some of these Manila players like Archie Salo and Julius Manalo who just go all out on the floor in their limited minutes. He's putting in the effort. It is 26 to 23. As you see, the Paranaque faithfuls. Sideline inbound now for Tata Bautista. He goes to Mark Racho. As we get to see Paranaque Muse, Binibini Pilipinas, Leah Torres. Maki Acosta, good spin, but a sorry miss. And here's good Keith Vido. Everything but the shot. Couple oh. behind the back to the delight <laughs> of the crowd. This crowd is easily pleased, <laughs> which is very good. The drive and kick. Paolo Castro, leaner is short. Rebound Acosta, forward pass at the top. Bautista. Bautista with his eight point in this quarter. That's two threes and a layup for the sharp shooter. And ultimately, Nico, they trim the lead down to one. Oh, only a one possession ball game. The insertion of Clark Bautista has been a positive for Manila. Two three-pointers and this fast break finish. Good stop as well. And the forward pass by Maki Acosta. One point game, 26-25, under five minutes here in the second. Alright, so let's talk about the previous game of Manila. A high-scoring ball game that was versus Bicol. They had 88 points in the paint and shot the ball 55% from the field. Led by Marcy Arellano who had 10 points, 13 boards and 15 assists. For yet another triple-double here in the MBBL. Now we turn you over to San Coloso. Sabi ng Manila Stars coach Tyron Darwan, they need a back-to-back -back win. Facing Paranaque, di daw sila pwedeng magkamali. Dahil anticipation ni, ni coach, the Patriots will run and will put pressure on them. Marvin Lee won't be playing for Manila Stars anymore. And as we know it, Coach Tyron is a chill coach. Advice niya sa players, pag na-stress ka, gawa ka ng bagay na magpapasaya sa'yo. Don't be too hard on yourself. There's always tomorrow to make things right. Back to you guys. That's a good reminder because, as we know, there is the tendency to be too hard on ourselves, especially in this day and age now with the social media era, Nico. Yeah. That's a good advice. Mas stress ka. <laughs> Relax ka lang. <laughs> Relax ka lang. Have an outlet. Take oh, a breather. Oh. Refresh and then come back fresh. <laughs> you know, since we're at, at that top, Iko ba? Ano yung mga... Ganyang classing exercises mo, mga breathers mo in life. Uh, as a I, basketball player. As a basketball player, that's true. It could be stressful. You can put 
stress on yourself. Siyempre, you wanna perform every night. You wanna please your coach, mm -hmm. please your teammates. And uh, kailangan niya mga outlet. For me, I like being in nature. I, like, I like being at the beach. Yon. Yon. Hangin. Oxygen. Oh, oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the literal na breather. <laughs> 26 to 25. Under four minutes in the second quarter. Acosta going to Celada. They go back to Marcy with seven on the shot clock. Arellano taking his time. There's the cutter. Maki hounded. Ooh, a foul at the last second. Maki Acosta now at the line. First free throw is good for one of the veteran scorers in the MPBL. He has also given service to multiple teams. Second one at that as well. 27-26. Don't look now, Nico. Manila has the lead. Oh, one point lead for Manila. They've done it slowly but surely. James Abuga. They go to Jello Razon. Starters are back in for the yellow shirts. Jello escapes. There's a foul on Marcy as he tried to tap that ball away. Uh, Vinny Bigasso checking in for the first time replacing Mark Omega. Baseline inbound now for Jamal Biscara. Here's Jello Razon. Abugan. Keith Pido. The pull up now for Pido. Too strong. Rebound to Lada. Nice pull up by Pido. Just a little strong. Here's Marci Arellano, using the pick, getting the switch, baseline drive, he's blocked, but there's a foul. Marcy using a change of pace. It's hard to guard them because he has uh, different speeds. He's good at stop, go, stop, go, so it's hard to guard a player like that. And especially a guy who you know can pass the basketball yeah. at any second. It's actually... It's been very interesting seeing all of these Manila stars revolve around Marcy offensively. See, alam nila ka cut sila. Well, when Marcy has the basketball, they just have to move off the ball in order to try to receive a pass. Oh, and if you're that player, you will really cut hard. Ganado ka kumat because you know that you will get the ball. Arellano makes the second free throw. The lead is two. Manila able to silence the crowd here in the second quarter. Two minutes and 42. Jamal Vizcara. He fires. No good. Rebound to Costa. There's one guy ahead. Arellano against five yellow shirts. He goes to Celada. Good feed, but a miss. Rebounded by Marcy. Able to save it. Milano gives it back to Arellano. Shot clock beating five. Acosta. He fires. Short. Ball tapped away. Good hands by Dava. One more chance here. Maki is fouled. Three possessions for Manila in that play. Getting two offensive rebounds. Acosta earning two free throws. It was almost but not quite in terms of the rebounding for Paranaque. The crowd was already ready to cheer for them to run on the fast break. But to no avail because of good taps by Manila. Yeah, if you want to run, if you want to go on a fast break, you have to get the rebound first. Acosta. Second free throw is a miss. Finally, they get the board. Paranaque down by three. Jello Razon. This time he attacks. And he is fouled. It's just so fast. Just blew by his defender. Yeah. 
Razor proceeds to the line. Jello in their previous outing had 17 points. Coming alive in the second half against Negros. Did mention he's been playing for Coach Mike Sagigit for seven years already. Tatay na kanyang uh, touring kay Coach Mike. Oh, very familiar na sila sa isa't isa. 29-28. Lead cut down to one. Carlo Daba, bit of trouble right there. Manalo escaping. They go to Maki. Good fake. Couple more. Leaner, no good. And here come the Patriots. Almost a counter steal by Marci Arellano. And finally, your water jug gets hit <laughs> by the ball. <laughs> okay na yung water jug, basta hindi tayo. <laughs> That's a good effort right there from Marci Arellano. Just lost space. 29-28 will take a short breather. We're back here in Olivares for your MPBL Saturday as we thank our sponsors, OK Bet. Together we win with OK Bet Extreme, the one stop shop appliances store. Suzuki, our official motorcycle partner. Boracay de la Ia, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. And Anta, the MPBL's official outfitter. The score is 29 to 28. Almost a turnover there. Paranaque will retain possession with a minute and 25 remaining before halftime. So far, Manila has been owning the second quarter. Yeah, Ever they've been defending better this quarter. Also getting lots of offensive rebounds, giving their team another chance to score. There's Keith Pido on the pull-up. Bit too strong, no bounce as well. Rebound, it ends up with the Bugan. They go to Vescara. Pass inside. Beautiful feed. Oh, Basket and one. What a pass by Jamal Vescara. That's one aspect of his game that is very underrated. When everybody else thought that he was going to shoot it, he finds a Bugan inside. By the way, James Abugan was also one of the main catalysts to their early lead in the first frame. They regain the lead now, 30 to 29. Abugan to complete the three point play. Just could not do so, but he gets his own board. Pescara faking from downtown. And here's Pido working with Pegaso. Razon firing off to the right. Lada looking for Arellano. Now Marcy cuts the kick. Manalo to Andrian. Celada back to Julius. Shot clock leading 10. Pressure defense from Paranaque. Pido diving and getting that loose ball. Here's Jamal Vizcara. Inside he goes. Vinny Bigasso. Turnover again. Bit of a struggle here. Three second differential. Both teams going up and down without really executing very well. Arellano against Pido, taking his time, fishing for that foul. Marcy just looks so chill, no? Chill the way he plays. Up. Very composed. Now he will have his own uh, reactions to the referees. But he knows how to avoid these types of pressure defenses. Arellano at the line. They try to regain the lead for Manila. First one is a miss. Marcy Arellano, we did mention, is number one in the league in assists. He's number five in steals at 2.4. Number seven in minutes 
29.1 minutes per game. Two misses though at the line for Marcy. We have eight seconds to go in the first half. Jello Razon against Arellano. Razon on the drive, feed inside. And that's an easy two, courtesy of James Abugan. That's a good way to end the quarter if you're Paranaque. Good blow by move by Razon and good feed. Paranaque had an early lead in this one. Manila able to crawl back inch by inch in the second quarter. A run that was started by the Tabautista. But as you mentioned, this is a good answer, a good way for Paranaque to end the first half in their first home court defense since December 18 of 2019. It's a new set of players. 32 to 29 hour halftime score as we also give you a new set of uh, top 10 plays of the week. Another easy layup here for MJ De La Virgen off of a good cut. Oh, -ho -ho! the referee called that a foul. I am not so sure. It was all ball also from our vantage point. Let's look at what happened here. There you go. That was all ball. So that is a chase down block by Oliver Arim, who looks on to Hagi Palanya for <laughs> approval. <laughs> That's definitely going to get on the top 10 players. It's built on defense and physicality. Don Reverente, spin cycle. An easy two for number 13. Faking to the left, spinning to the right. And an easy two to also one of the returnees. Sold it away by Cardona. Here's Jamar. Game Payan. Oh, ho, ho, what a challenge by Archie Concepcion. Yeah, Jamar is impressive already, especially yung, yung lift, yung, yung leaping ability nito, yung athleticism, pero parang lahat kaya siyang challenge. Exactly. Ay, Valencio. Jeric Serrano. Turnover again. Valencio. Mosqueda. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! What a block by Tricky Peromigan. Yeah. Chino, Chino Mosqueda did, did, did not expect Itong si Peronginan, it's a challenge pa yung kanyang uh, layup. Boy, that's a chase down of the ages for Tricky Peronginan. Pasho to Cruz. Steal by Milano. Good J show. Jason, spin move. Jason scores. Defense to offense. To the spin move. Necros is up to in the last one minute of the ball game. Look at Milano, beats Cruz to the spot there, Manito. Basang-basa niya yung offense ng Negros doon. Ay nang uh, bulakad, that's why he got the steal. And the easy two. Baltazar, there's the slam for Baldi. Showtime for Bambanga. Last time we saw Justin Baltazar, it was in the double-double, but still great numbers from Baldi. This ball game against Pukimupa to try to gauge where they are in terms of standing here in the MPBL. And how about King Destacamento with the escape and the slam? Yeah, okay. great timing of that execution. Breakaway slam for King Destacamento. That's one of the best highlights that he has had in his MPBL career. Yeah, and going to his strong side, left side. And knowing ng mga veteran itong uh, backcourt combination right now ng... Uh, oh, good steal. Uh, Troy Malinin, a steal and a slam. Big time bucket here to give Rizal the lead back. Yeah, again, being youthful, being, alam mo yun, mas, you know, he knows that he has a foot speed advantage. Talagang alam mo, sa akin kasi papatungan mo talaga itong uh, big man and that was force him na makadunk. Down to five seconds, Mike Gamboa will try to make a play. They go to Rios for the win. That's a good block by John Wilson. A defensive play to win it for the Jensen Warriors. John Wilson hasn't had the best scoring day for himself, but in terms of other departments, he has certainly delivered for the Jensen Warriors. Rebounding, assisting, ultimately getting that game-winning block here. Took you a quick shot here. The Rosario alley to Archie. Oh, ho, ho, what, what a play! play. 
my goodness, four tenths of a second just enough for Archie Con Conception to give us a highlight. And you know okay, how much they trust okay, uh, that, that play? I heard Coach Gino Manansala telling his boys backdoor, backdoor, but still you trust the Jonathan Del Rosario na makukuha ni Archie Concepcion yan okay, for that play. But then again, that's Archie Concepcion with his leaping ability. That's why he has emerged as one of the best players here in the MPBL. And, and you know, makes medyo talagang challenging yung angle ng no, pasa. Yung position ni Del Rosario, medyo mahirap pa yun. Oo. Oh. So, big credit as well to Pinoy Del Rosario for that amazing pass. That will surely go down as one of the top 10 plays in the end. Mga Kaliga, what you just watched are our top 10 plays of the week. With me right now are very important people. Kasama ko nga ngayon, Head of Basketball Operations of the Manila Stars, Ryan Ripalda, and Vice Mayor and Team Owner of the Paranaque Patriots, Vice Mayor Joan Villafuerte. Maraming salamat po for gracing us with your presence. Unahin ko na po kayo, Sir Ryan. Goal nyo is a back-to-back -back win from your last game, but we are down just by a few points. Ano kailangan natin gawin sa second half? I think uh, we need to defend uh, a little better, lalo na mga second chance points nila kasi talagang yung Paranaque team, masisipag talaga yung mga players nila sa mga offensive rebounds. Tapos yung running game nila, kailangan namin makontain. Sigurado pong maraming Manilen yung nanunood po sa inyo, batiin nyo na sila. Yeah, unang-una, uh, gusto kong batiin ng happy birthday yung butiing mayor namin, si Mayor Hani, Hani Lacuna Pangan, tapos kay Vice Mayor Liu Sebo niya ito. Sa lahat ng Batang Maynila, tapos kila Sir Luigi, Sir Michael, and Sir Tim of the 747 family, kay General Cesar Mangkaw and Colonel Danny Enriquez. Saka sa lahat ng family members namin, tsaka ano, lahat ng supporters. Maraming salamat and good luck to you and your team. Ngayon pumunta naman tayo kay Vice Mayor Joan Villafuerte. Maraming salamat po for gracing us with your presence and after four years, we're finally back here sa Olivares. At grabe pong paghahanda ang ginawa ninyo. Kwenta nyo naman po sa amin yun. Uh, actually, this is an exciting preparation kasi maraming mga taga-paranyake ang looking forward sa aming first home court game. And uh, marami nagtatanong kailan ba maglalaro ulit ang Paranaque Patriots dito mismo sa aming home court. Kaya naman na uh, bukod sa preparations namin sa team yung araw-araw na pagpa-practice, syempre inihanda rin namin yung mga Paranaque nyo by informing them malayo pa lang na mayroon tayong home court game on May 6. And uh, nakita nyo naman, no, full house kami ngayong gabi. At dito talaga makikita natin na ang mga taga-paranyake talaga mahilig sa basketball. And uh, we are proud that uh, pag naglalaro ang Paranyake Patriots, laging punong-puno ang home court venue. At grabe nga din po ang energy ng mga Paranyake nyo. So, pwede nyo na po silang batiin. Yes, uh, binabati natin ang suporta ng uh, lahat ng mga taga-paranyake mula District 1 hanggang District 2. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpapakita ninyo ng suporta sa ating Paranaque Patriots. Kayo po ang aming lakas para po sa inyo ito. Ganon din po sa ating mga konsehal. Nandiyan si konsehal Latin Esplana, si konsehal Rafi Apyong, si konsehal Marvin Santos ng Barangay San Dionisio. Ganon din po ang ating uh, uh, kaibigan sa Barangay Tambo, si uh, Mr. Ray Gumabaw. Pero itong team na ito is uh, hindi mabubuo kung wala ang aming mga uh, sponsors, yung mga nagtitiwala sa amin. At ang uh, sponsors namin ay homegrown Paranaque companies. We would like to thank Okada Manila for supporting us. And of course, Ilios Group. Uh, binabati ko si Chef Nino and Miss Andrew Villos. Ganon din ang Top Orange Platform. At ang lahat ng mga taga-paranyake na patuloy na sumusubaybay sa Paranyake Patriots. Atin po ito. Atin to, Paranyake. Maraming salamat and good luck to you and your team. Once again, that was Vice Mayor Joan Villafuerte. Mga kaliga, wag po kayong aalis. Magbabalik ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.
patatalo Buong barangay ay suportado Kahit ano ang mangyari Sama-sama tayo It is halftime inside the Olivares College Gymnasium in Paranaque. It is your main game between the Patriots and the Manila Stars. The home team currently holding on to a three-point lead, but the largest was at nine points, 22 to 13 for Paranaque. Manila did take a short advantage for a short while. Just uh, 29 to 26, that's their biggest lead of the ball game in the second quarter. It's been up and down for both Paranaque and Manila. What, are, what else are you observing so far? What has been the biggest difference for our two teams? It's been up and down. Both teams are being very energetic. I think the main difference here is the crowd. The crowd is really pumping up Paranaque. They're really reacting to every move. And uh, I'm sure Paranaque really wants to get that win today. Tipong behind the back. So crossover, <laughs> spin move, tuwa-tuwa ng mga tao. Hindi ba naman sila matutuwa? Especially when they see those types of moves. Good layup coming in in magical fashion for Paolo Castro. Tata Bautista, that is what started the run for Manila. The two threes and the layup for Tata. Yes, uh, Tata made an immediate impact. Pagpasok niya ng game, two three-pointers and a layup. Let's see if he'll be able to uh, contribute more in the second half. As we see in the first half, Stats are almost identical. Manila 37%, Paranaque 41%. But we see that the three point field goes 3 out of 14 for Manila and 0%, 0 out of 7 from Paranaque. Steals and turnovers are also almost identical with 6 and 7 for each team. If you look at the box score, you won't see many differences for these two teams. The three point shooting could have been the biggest difference. As we see the leading scorers, Sabugan leads the way with 8 for Paranaque. Egan, Castro, and Pido combined for 14. Natabang Tista on the other end has 8. Celada and Napes alongside Mancao, they also combined for 14 points. It's really identical even with our leading scorers. So it's anybody's ball game. These Paranaque faithfuls were able to witness an overtime game as well before this one between Marikina and Nevaicia. That's why it has added into them being so pumped up for this matchup. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. As Andrea Celada makes a three-pointer, this is Mix Gomez at your service with Nico Salva and Sam Coloso. Celada starting off the second half with a three-pointer. That's the fourth three in this ball game for Manila. The other end, Mark Omega is back in the game. He had limited minutes, 11 and a half minutes in the first two quarters was not able to see action in the last couple of minutes of the second frame scoring four points grabbing three boards and getting two personal fouls here's mark omega who certainly has a great shooting stroke as a big man omega had 19 points and nine rebounds in their last game this guy was a former volleyball player Transitioning into a basketball player. Oh. A middle blocker at that. And so he's used to jumping. Yeah. Sunud -sunud. Ay, kita, kita may timing niya sa rebound. No? Also, speaking of blocking, he had three blocks in their last game. There you go. 34, 32 hour score. Andre Ancelada could not get back to back. And here's Jello Razon. Forward pass to Keith Pido. Pido on the kick out. Viscara for three. Off to the right. 
Fido able to snatch it back while well, being battled upon. Recovery for Paranaque. Fido, oh, that's a clear foul on Macau. That's a foul. He caught all arm on that play. Keith Fido, who has also been a player for Coach Mike Sagigit for six, seven years now. He started with him when Coach Mike was still an assistant for Perpetual in 2017. I asked him, Nagbabago ba yung role mo for Coach Mike? Sabi niya, hindi. Pare-pareho lang eh. Ever since 2017, didepensa talaga ako kontra sa mga guardsa ng kalaban, which he has been doing against Marcy Arellano. And he is a pass-first point guard. Kitang-kita that he's very comfortable with his role. Yes. He is actually considered as a veteran already of Paranaque because he is a returning player with a yellow shirt. You see that defense, defense. that pressure that you were saying. Inside, Manila tried to go. What a save by Maki Acosta finding Marci Arellano. Kent Lau going to Jason Mancao. Six on the shot clock. Layup. He's fouled. Mancao has one thing on his mind when he gets the ball. He just wants to attack. Two free throws for Jason Mancao, who got the start in this ball game. In their previous outing, he had 16 points, five boards, five assists, and four steals. A good overall game for him. And he seems to be a spark plug, an energy guy for Manila. Yeah, him and uh, Tata Bautista. The free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand na Pilipinas. Omega gets the board off of the miss. It is 36 to 33. A minute gone by in the second half. With Jell Rosone. They go to Mark Omega against Kent Lau. Cross court. Ooh, pass a bit too low. Forward pass on the other end. Arellano finding Jason Mancao. A nice outlet pass by Marcy. Looking like a quarterback in that play. That just looks so basic at this point for Marcy Arellano. Again, number one in the league in terms of assists per game. Omega inside. He powers through but could not convert. Marcy looks... Behind the back he goes. He needs a teammate. Cross court. Paranaque players go down. Omega looks to have hit his head on the floor. Second three-point shot by Celada in this quarter. 12 points for Celada. And now Manila regains the lead as Omega shakes it off. He was slow to get up for Paranaque. So the back and forth continues in this game. There's that cross-court pass from Marci Arellano. And there's the fall by Omega. Looks like Omega was tripped by his teammate. And it led onto an open three for Andre. And Celada! Miscue right there between Razon and Vizcara. Miscommunication. Vizcara was going for that back door and Razon didn't read it. Read his teammate on that play. We saw the frustration on the face of Jello Razon. That's a ninth turnover of Paranaque in this game compared to seven for Manila. Jason Mancao. They go to Arellano, who drives left. Now the screen by Acosta. Mackie on the pull-up. Mid-range shot is good. That's a shot. That mid-range shot is a high percentage for Maki Acosta. Manila regaining themselves in this matchup. They're looking for their third win. And looking for back-to-back at that as Jello Razon answers back with a badly needed three-pointer. Here's he Marci Arellano. He shot that far, probably two feet from beyond the arc. 40 to 39 in what could be another game that will go down the wire. Sa Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Here's Marci Arellano. Kick out. Mancao will fire. That's uh, a three. Another assist for Marci Arellano. 10 points for Mancao. Great for him to come up in double figures again here in the MPBL. That's Jason Mancao. Fido needing a teammate. Here's Jello Razon inside. Good feed to Abugan. Inside versus outside we go. You just saw the three-point shooting. A lot better for Manila. 43-41. Celada sizing up Abugan. There's the drive and the layup. Celada just using his first, his first step speed 
against its defender. Lead is four. Pido going to Razon at the corner. Abugan back to Jello. He gets some space. High looper. Back to back threes. He's done this before. Jello Razon being the savior for Paranaque. Ten points now for the young point guard. Celada escaping the defense of Abugan. There's the driving kick. There's a foul before the pass. We bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet. Together we win. Andrea Celada. You give him space. He either shoots in front of you or he can drive like that. Yes, he can drive. He has the first step speed. He's just use one dribble from the three point line to get that layoff. He's very lengthy. Able to extend with his right arm. 45 44. Inside, Manila goes. Kent Lau turns around and misses. Rebound, Jamal Vizcara. Here's Jello Razon. Forward pass. Good find. Solis onto the trailer. Martel. Hola, Paren. Oh, good oh. effort by Martel. Unfortunately, the pass was too low. The crowd is definitely feeling it now. Under six minutes in the third. Bakia Costa against Martel. Good defense inside. Maki though. He will not get the bounce. Razon escaping the D. Here's Jello. Feed at the last second. And Martel is fouled. Razon is really pleasing this crowd with his moves. Again, this hasn't been a crowd that's hard to please. <laughs> Give them a spin move, they will rejoice. And again, what a way for us to return to Paranaque for the first time since December of 2019. Let's also return to our court side reporter, San Coloso. Para sa Manila Stars, sabi ni Coach Tyron, kailangan doble sipag dito sa second half. Sabi ni Coach, they had a lot of lapses on their defense. Kaya sabi niya, wag mang iwan. Wag yung kalimutan sumalo. Para naman sa Patriots, they have to take advantage of their bigs and step up on their free, th free throws. Give the Paranaquenos a show. Back to you guys. See, that has been uh, the interesting part of Sam Colossus reports, no? the fact that Paranaque really wants to take advantage of their big men. But the question is, have they been doing it so far? They haven't really been doing that in this game. They've taken lots of jump shots. I haven't seen them really get in the post and take advantage of their big men. And you did mention, it's Jello Razon who's doing the damage for them. That's their point guard. Marci Arellano. Kick out. Celada will fire. No good. Rebound Martel. And here's Jeff Egan. Achilles injury and whatnot. He pulls up. Too strong. Rebound Celada. Forward pass on the other end. Bautista seeing daylight. That's a lot of space. Bautista left wide open again. And you know it's a bucket for him if you leave him wide open. That's the third three-pointer of Tata Bautista in this ball game. With a total of 11 points. There's an official timeout. There seems to be a problem. I wonder what that could be. Maybe the shot clock. They're trying to reset it at this point. By the way, Marcy Arellano has once again dished off very well in this game. That's his 10th assist. Finding Tata Bautista for his third three-pointer. Could it be the same story here? Bautista sparking up the Manila Stars team to give them a run. Three-point shooting, 7 out of 19 for the Stars, 2 out of 10 for Paranaque. 20% for Paranaque and uh, how many percent for... <laughs> That's uh, just above... Ma Manila mix? Just above 33%. <laughs> Forty-eight, forty-five. Under four and a half minutes in the third. Bautista again. Acosta open for a bit. Tata with a crossover. Inside they go. Kick out. Acosta will fire. Oh, he gets the bounce. Acosta gets the friendly bounce. Eight it's points for Maki Acosta. It's actually a very friendly rim, though. No? It's friendly rim. We've seen lots of shooters bounce 
bounces today. 51-45, under four minutes. Here's Jeff Egan, thought about it, three-pointer, could not answer back. This could be a dangerous sequence now for Paranaque as, as Manila holds on with the momentum. Archie Salo, inside they go. That's a good feed. Just a sorry miss for Maki Acosta. Good action, good movement without ball. Just didn't make the fadeaway jump shot. The other end, Egan. Razon recovers with it. Jello finds himself open. Egan, one more pass. Leaner for J-Boy Solis. Paranaque patient, moving the ball in that play. And Solis rewards them with two points. Razon fishing for that offensive foul. Archie Salo bringing it down. 51-47. Salo, feet at the last second. It's basket and one for Kyle Napes. Six points for Kyle Napes. Salo doing a good job of penetrating and locating Napes down low. That's a, that was a great one-two by Archie Salo. He could, he could have even laid it up already. Yes, it was a good feat to Kyle Napes. Now, paganda pa because there's a bonus free throw. Again, this could be a time of the ball game wherein Manila would be able to take advantage against Paranaque. 53-47, Kyle Napes with six points so far. He hasn't made one at the line and he continues to struggle. Offensive rebound goes to Manila. Ball tapped away. Razon recovered by Bautista. Back and forth we go. Inside, it's Napes. Good block by Solis. It's a traveling violation. Good defensive play by Solis. Using his length, staying in front of Napes and getting that block. Ayra Pablo Napes is unhappy. <laughs> Not agreeing with that call. He's asking for a pushing foul. He would know. <laughs> the wives and girlfriends will always agree uh -oh. <laughs> with her. <laughs> with her boyfriend or her husband. The thing is, Ira can be technical because she is the son of Big Pablo. <laughs> so she knows a lot of basketball. Also, a courtside reporter herself. Here's Paolo Castro. There's a foul inside as man goes down for Paranaque. Number three, Philip de la Cruz on his first appearance. Baseline inbound. For Philip De La Cruz. He was one of three players who did not see action in the first half. They go to Omega. Now here's Jello Razon. Malabas De La Cruz on the driving kick. Solis thought about it. Pull up. That's good. Nice elevation on that pull up by Solis. Getting the block on the other end earlier and now two points. For his team. J-Boy Sol is also a returning player here in Olivares. He was batchmates with Paulo Castro before. Lazarte, wild sequence, no conversion. And here come the yellow shirts. De La Cruz, Solis, three-pointer is too strong. Manila will slow it down. Under two minutes in the third. Salo. Casiba's asking for it. Here's Reggie Boy. Leaner is good. Casiba's was really asking for that ball in the post. And uh, just right, he was able to make that floater. Solis. Razon is fouled on the cut. That would be free throws now. Salo pleading his case. Dinedemo pa niya sa referee. Inayaka pa yung braso ng referee. Sabi niya, ref, pinahawakan ako eh. What better way to explain than to act it out? Yes. Normally, you can't touch the referees. Pero parang malambig naman. Mabait naman yung referee. Ayan, ayan. Ayan. Very soft touch. Malambot naman yung paghawak. Okay lang yan. Kaya natin tanggapin yun. Jello Razon at the line. He's been the hero in this quarter so far. 11-4-4, his numbers. And now Razon will take a breather in favor of Keith Pido. 
Garen Elorde giving his teammate a high five. Welling red at the sidelines. He's at the reserve list for today's game. 55 51. Turnover. Oh. Castro has the basketball. Paulo, bounce pass was too low. Boy, that could have brought the house down. You have to love this Paranaque crowd. Archie Silo breaking down the pressure defense. 55 51. Turnover completed. What sequence again for Manila. They're making their big guys bring the ball down and handle the ball. Paulo Castro, short. Rebound, Bautista. Here, Manila, you want to locate Tata Bautista a little bit more. Here's Tata bringing down that basketball. Bit of old school shoes here for Tata. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we had, I had those uh, McGrady shoes when <laughs> I was in uh, grade school. <laughs> They seem to be looking good for Tata Bautista. 55-51. Nine second differential. Paulo Castro against Reggie Boy Basibas. Castro on the escape. That's off of his knee. Bit of a struggle here for Castro. And Marci Arellano will be reinserted in for the last 21 seconds of the third. Manila has been winning this quarter by seven points as we get to see the McGrady shoes. <laughs> of uh, Tata Bautista very old school style right there the low socks as well low for socks. Tata Reggio to Mutro back in style yeah. oh, oh. Archie Sala ball tapped away there's a foul here and it would be free throws again Saul is uh, very disappointed at himself for committing another turnover in this quarter and uh, committing a foul that's Archie Salo. Solis now will proceed to the line. See the tap from behind here. Good one at that from Philip De La Cruz. And then Salo being a bit reckless. And it's two free throws now for J-Boy Solis. Chance to trip the lead down to two. First one is good. J-Boy Solis last year played for Bacolod. Before that, he was a part of this Paranaque Patriots program. At some point during his college days, he was having record-breaking games for Olivares. As you can see, he has the physique of such a versatile player. Oh, he has the, the physique of the modern-day stretch four. 13 seconds. Now it's down to 10. Marcia Arellano against Keith Pido. And now Just if your team is uh, committing turnovers, you bring Marcy back. Two seconds to go. Great escape for Lazarte, but a sorry miss. That will end the third quarter. It's just a single possession ball game. If you're Manila, though, you'll take this advantage. Oh, yeah, you'll take this advantage coming into the fourth. But uh, just like in the first half, the stats are almost identical. It's been a back and forth game. A little. Uh, Turnovers in the third quarter, but uh, it's still anyone's ball game coming into the fourth. Jello Razon was the hero early in the third. There's the answer by Tata Bautista. Manila made a great push, winning the third quarter by five points. It's 55 to 53. We're back here in Paranaque with a single possession ball game between the Patriots and the Manila Stars. Andrea Ancelada coming to the commentary table and asking Nico Salva, is this going to be another overtime game? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We do have 10 minutes to play. 55-53. 
This is the first home court defense of Paranaque since December 18, 2019, and we see the quarter scoring. Quarter scoring. Manila winning the second and third quarter with 17 to 16, and big third quarter for Manila, 26 against the 21 of Paranaque. Now you did mention Paranaque has their crowd on their backs. Can they actually deliver here? Here's Kyle Lapis with five on the shot clock. Celada, his drive. Ooh, it's basket and one. Strong drive and great finish by Celada. You have to be very happy for this guy. Celada now is up to 16 points, matching his season average. He is number six in the league in terms of scoring. Big jump from him, coming from uh, his stint last year with QC. By the way, we would like to acknowledge our sponsors. OK Bet, together we win. With OK Bet Extreme, the one-stop shop appliances store, Suzuki, our official motorcycle partner, Buraque de la Ia, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL, and Anta, the MPBL's official outfitter. 58-53, our score. Here's Paranaque. Castro working with Mark Omega. Lumalabas, Jello Razon. They also have Solis and Fido out there with them. Jello misfires. Rebound, Marcy. Mariliano being defended all the way from the backcourt by Keith Pido. Five-point lead for Manila. Shot clock down to ten. Mariliano needing a teammate. <laughs> Marcy having some words with Pido. <laughs> Kick out. Kyle Lapis who certainly has that shot. That's off to the left. Here's Keith Pido on the other end. The pass first point guard goes all the way and he's blocked. Recovery. Castro. Pull up. No bounce, Omega. Omega inside. grabbing that position. Lording over Manila. Put back two points for Paranaque. Again, the theme of Sam Colossus reports only indicating that Paranaque has been looking to take advantage of their big men inside. Sino pa ba? The biggest of their big men, it's Mark Omega. Oh, yeah. Should definitely go more to him, especially in the fourth. Omega could not get the bounce though at the free throw line. Arellano, by the way, has six boards and ten assists with one point. That's actually signature Marcy Arellano right there. As Celada shoots it short. Another chance here for the yellow shirts. J-Boy Solis thought about it. Everybody's daring him to shoot. Castro to Jello. Back to J-Boy. Solis on the handoff. Rezon. Pick and pa. Solis for the tie. Bombs away. Big shot by Solis. He missed one earlier on that spot, but making this one on the same spot. Here we go. Tied at 58. Tata Bautista bringing down that basketball. They go to oh. Bagi Acosta, who is rejected by J Boy Solis. On the other end, we go. Castro. Paolo Castro with a beautiful finish. What a sequence for Paranaque. Crowd is going crazy right now. There's a reason why the MPBL has returned into the Olivares College Gym after almost four years, and it's because of sequences like this. A three-pointer and a block for J-Boy Solis leading up onto this beautiful, magical layup from Paolo Castro. Two former Olivares players returning in their very own childhood venue and giving their home team a two-point advantage. Jello Razon in their previous outing had 17 points, made three three-pointers against the Negros Muscovatos. He has come alive once again in badly needed fashion for Paranaque as they regain the lead 12-6-6. The, the numbers for the young point guard. A solid game for Razon. 
12 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. He's also been dictating the tempo for his team in this game. Pressure defense at the backcourt to the delight of the crowd. Solis! <laughs> Almost crashing onto us and they force a turnover. <laughs> I was gonna put. I was gonna protect you. <laughs> oh, I was ready to run away. Nico <laughs> Bala, 68 to 58. Our score under seven and a half minutes in the fourth and final frame. Here's Jello Razon. They go to Solis. Razon, baseline, step back. What a shot! 14 points for Razon. 63-58, momentum swinging absolutely onto Paranaque's side. Arellano going to Napes. It's a 9-0 run. Marcy, he fakes, he gives it up. Kyle, good feet at the last second. There's a foul on the floor. It looks like it was obtained by Kyle Lapis as this three-point shot is brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. The stretch for J-Boy Solis on the pick and pop. Getting that pass from Jello Razon, who has been making the three-pointers for Paranaque initially. Now it's his turn to deliver the goods. Baseline inbound here, Celada. Tough shot, he puts it in. Tough shot, just using his length and athleticism to get that fade away. Just a two-point game here in Paranaque. Razon working with Solis again. J-Boy. Razon escaping the defense. That's a good play. They the love that inside. action. They make most of their shots on that wing or in the baseline. I'm so sure that they pra practice lots of wing and baseline shots. It's the same play. Just that at a different angle. That they've been running since the first quarter. See this... Previous sequence, absolutely nobody near Jello Razon who has certainly found his range in today's ball game. Maganda rin ang pivot ni Solis on that day. Pag pivot niya, he was able to screen the defender of Razon. Jello making that two-pointer. There's There was some action inside. That's why Mega went down. There's a foul on Napis, that's why ball possession. It will go Paranaque's way, as it should. Baseline inbound here. Jello Razon will take it out. Working with him are De La Cruz, Omega, Solis, and Castro. A couple of warnings being given out here. Well, this crowd has been pumped up since the second game between Nueva Ecija and Marikina that also went into overtime. De La Cruz. They go to Paulo Castro, screened by J-Boy Solis. Castro, crossover, down the middle, layup is good! Best game one for Paulo Castro. He loves that left to right crossover. He's just so explosive with that crossover. Boy, welcome home, Mr. Paulo Castro, as he brings us this epic move of the game. In partnership with OK Bet, together we win. He did mention he loves that crossover. Oh, yeah. He's been going to that, and that move has been delighting the crowd all night long. Once upon a time, he played for Olivares. He also was a leading scorer for Paranaque before. And now he comes alive once again, back on their home floor, 67-60. Here's Tata Bautista against the pressure defense of Castro. Tata needing some help. There's Marci Arellano against Jello Razon. That's a matchup for the ages in this basketball game. Marcy on the stop. Good steal right there by Jay Boy Solis. Another stop by Jay Boy Solis. Earlier we saw him with the block and now with the steal. Jello Razon again. It's the same play. There Bounce pass. Jello. They go back to Solis. Three pointer. In and out. Rebound. Omega. That's stolen away by Marcy. Arellano bringing that ball down. Calm as always. That play is so hard to defend. We've seen that with the Lakers. 
with the Bulls, with Tim Cones Alaska, and now with Paranaque. So that's a triangle offense play? Is yes, it? that is from the triangle when you reverse it to the big, that is the counter. The, if the initial action is blocked, you reverse it to the big, then the big will hand it off. Here's a foul. Uh, looks like it's a generous one. Who now bleaches his case that he got hit okay. on his lip to the referee. That's what Ben is looking at. Whatever happened to that upper lip. slow mo pa eh, no? Kitang kita nga naman na may tama. 67 to 60. Here's Tata Bautista with Ben on the shot clock. They go to Celada. Down to 8 seconds. Is this a zone? This is a 2-3 zone. Celada down to 2 seconds. Tough shot, off to the left, rebound, it ends up with Razon. De La Cruz now playing point for the yellow shirts. See the confidence in this guy. Castro, drive, layup again! Paranaque just taking control of this fourth quarter, getting a nine-point lead. Paulo Castro has really broken down the defense of Manila, getting layups here and there. And now they have outscored the Stars 16 to 5 in the fourth frame. Big fourth quarter for Paranaque. Making stops, executing, just making their shots, and uh, getting the crowd alive once again. Nagbabalik po ang Maharliga Pilipinas Basketball League, ang liga ng bawat Pilipino na nagbabalik din dito sa loob ng Olivares College Gym in Paranaque for the first time in almost four years where the crowd is just enjoying the moment, dancing to Jumbo Hot Dog. <laughs> <laughs> the next three games of Paranaque will be against QC Mindoro and Pasay. That's a fairly good schedule for Coach Mike Sagigit. But uh, the task at hand is... Manila. And so we did mention the scoring in this quarter is 16 to 5 in favor of Paranaque. They are holding on to the momentum, but you can't discount Marcy Arellano and the rest of the stars. Pressure continues at the backcourt. Here's Marcy working with Kent Lau. They go to Maki Acosta, catching and firing, and he makes that three pointer. Costa not hesitating, confident shot, cutting it to a six-point lead by Paranaque. 69-63. The veterans are now coming alive for Manila. Here's Mark Omega. Can they take advantage of the bigs? J-Boy Solis in and out. And there's a foul on the loose ball. Omega just creating chaos on the rebounding for Manila. He's just lording in the paint right now. He's getting his position, getting where he wants to be, getting rebounds and putbacks. Manila doesn't actually have a natural center. They've been playing with versatile big men in the likes of Kent Lau, Kyle Lapis, even to CJ Lazarte. But those guys are initially power forwards. Yeah, it's just hard to battle against a guy of that size. Here's De La Cruz. Philip looking for a teammate. Shot clock reading 10. Paolo Castro will pull up. That's short. Rebound Arellano. Marcy is nearing a double-double, but it, it's in terms of rebounds and assists. Eight boards and 12 dimes now for Marcy Arellano. With only one point. <laughs> He's done that before. <laughs> Just a two-possession ball game. De La Cruz will now take a well-deserved breather as Keith Pido returns to defend Marcy Arellano. 
Castro putting in the pressure against Ata Bautista. Both teams are in penalty. Bautista losing the handle, but Arellano was there. Under four minutes remaining. Sure, Paranaque, you want Tata Bautista to bring the, flo the ball down the floor. What a move that was by Maki Acosta. As Seboy Solis gets called. And that's his fifth foul. He's done. Oh. That should be very crucial for Paranaque. That's, that's a big hit on Paranaque, knowing that Solis has had a very big fourth quarter. If it wasn't for Jello Razon, Nico Salva could be thinking about Solis as the best player of this ball game. Oh, yeah. But Razon has definitely showed out for Paranaque. It's 69 to 64 now. Maki Acosta is the one coming alive for Manila. Second free throw for Maki. Too strong. 69-64. Here's Bido. They go to Abugan. Hand off. Razon pulls up. He makes another mid-range jump shot. There it is again. Off that same action we were talking about. 18 points for the young point guard. That's coach Mike Sagigit. 71-64. Arellano. Bit of an opening there. He needs a roller. There's Kent Lau. Omega could not catch him. And it's basket and one. Strong finish by Kent Lau. His first two points in this game. And another assist for Marcy Arellano. Certainly a lot of chemistry between Arellano and Lau, who were teammates since last year. There's that pull-up by Jello Razon, who seems to be loving the mid-range today. Kent Lau, bonus free throw, too strong. These free throws are now hurting Manila. Oh, they've missed uh, quite a number, especially in the second half. Three minutes remaining. Hand off again, Keith Pido, almost losing the basketball. Oh, risky pass, Celada gets the steal. Andre and Celada, no foul called. The other end we go. Taylor Razon stopping and popping. Too strong. And Marcy gets the board. Arellano on the other end. Kick out. Celada. Big time three is short. Ooh, Kent Lau on the recovery. Being at the right place at the right time. And folks, it's down to a single possession ball game. Marcy Arellano, after getting the rebound, again gets another assist. Oh, sorry, that was a miss. It ended up with an offensive board for Kent Lau. An easy two for the big guy, trimming the lead down to three points with two and a half minutes remaining in this ball game. Marcy Arellano had 10 points, 13 boards, and 15 assists in their previous outing. Point guard numbers for him. And the same is happening tonight. With only one point to his name, he has 9 boards and 14 dimes. Those are crazy numbers. Just uh, Chris Paul numbers. Oh, yes. See that? Hindi po balik tadyan. Walang typo dyan. <laughs> really is 1 9 and 14 for Marcy Arellano, who gives a finger heart to the viewers out there. They're down by just three points with two and a half remaining in this basketball game. We go down the wire for the second time today. Jello Razon on the catch. Layup is too strong. And now a golden opportunity for Manila. Razon was asking for a foul. I thought he was pushed in that possession. Arellano going to Celada. The difference is just three points. Andrian bouncing it off of Mark Omega with 11 on the shot clock. Oh, what a way for us to end this beautiful week in the MPBL yet again. By the way, folks, next week we will have action on a Wednesday. It's every day from Monday to Saturday, so get ready for a lot more basketball action sa Liga ng Bawa Pilipino. Seven 
seconds remaining on the shot clock. Gets Lau, fires, he ties oh. the ball game up. 71 all. Seven points for Kent Lau. Kent Lau coming alive in the fourth. Under two minutes remaining. Tie ball game. Abugan, they go to Castro. Paulo able to escape the defense. Pido on the mid range is too strong. It's rebounded by Celada. Cross court pass. R risky cross court pass. And here's Kent Lau working with Marcy Arellano. Marcy using up the clock here. 10 seconds on the shot clock against Keith Pido. Again, he takes his time. He needs a teammate now. Arellano to the cutter. Maki Acosta. He is fouled. Acosta fishing for the foul. Also a good cut as he knows that Marcy is always waiting for cutters. This was the previous three-pointer by Kent Lau to tie the ball game up at 71 all. You did mention all of his seven points have come in crunch time. There's the foul on a Bugan. That's just a veteran move by Maki Acosta. First free throw is good for Maki. And we see the effect of uh, J. Boy Solis being out of this ball game. Oh yes, definitely. Seventy-two, seventy-one. Acosta misses the second free throw. A minute and nine seconds remaining. Jello Razon. Which player will be able to step up for Paranaque with the absence of J. Boy Solis? Jello with 11 on the shot clock. Pick and roll, turnover. Good steal by Marcia Arellano. Arellano reading that play well, knowing that they're going to the big, and getting a steal. 45 seconds to go. Manila up by one. Marcy Arellano against Keith Pido. There's the help from Abugan. Marcy almost traveled. They go to Maki Acosta. No good. Rebound, Jello Razon. And an all-important possession for Paranaque. There's a six-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Abugan. They're looking for Razon. Jello on the catch. Razon with 10 seconds on the shot clock. He fires. The no! <laughs> what a game for Razon. 21 points for Jello Razon. And ultimately, he gives Paranaque a two-point lead with 12.6 seconds remaining. Talk about ice in his veins. Ice in his veins. Just uh, left with space, two feet from beyond the arc. Launches and makes the three to give his team a two-point lead. It looks like there's a new crowd favorite here inside the Olivares gym. This guy is not a product of Olivares College, but he is a player for Coach Mike Sagigit in the past seven years already. A lot of trust between them. It has paid off with that big-time three-pointer. 12.6 to go. It's 74 to 72. Timeout situation. We have two for Paranaque and none for Manila. That means this could be make it or break it for the Stars. If you're them, where will you go? You're going to uh, Marcy Arellano. You're going to make him survey the floor, call for that high pick and roll. That high pick and roll between him and uh, Kent Lau has worked here at the end of the game. Now here's the thing about Marcy Arellano. As much as we have praised him as a point guard, and you see his assist numbers spiling up once again, he has come alive in the clutch before, last year especially for QC, but in terms of scoring. Yeah. So as much as we can expect him to dish out another good pass, we also have to, or Paranaque has to be wary of Marcy's scoring ability. Joining Arellano are Kent Lau, Andrian Celada, Maki Acosta, and Tata Bautista. To play defense are Keith Pido, Mark Omega, Jello Razon, James Abugan, and Paolo Castro. We have 12.6 seconds remaining, a sideline inbound. This will be for Marcy Arellano. 
His numbers are 1 point, 9 rebounds, and 16 assists. 16 assists. Here we go. Sideline inbound for Marcy. They go to Kent Lau, back to Arellano. Down to 10 seconds. They go to Kent Lau again. Arellano with five to work with. They kick it out. Kent Lau! No good! And that will do it! The Paranaque Patriots successfully defend their home court for the first time this season and for the first time since December 18, 2019. What a way for them to get this win. Huge win for them. Also, good win because they got it in their home court. And uh, it's just, I'm sure they're very excited to make this crowd happy. This was the last play. Marcia Arellano finding Kent Lau. Most likely a shot that they would gladly take because Kent Lau has had himself a great fourth quarter. Just missed it. Jello Razon and company can now celebrate. And they also did this in nerve-wracking fashion. It took a clutch three from Jello Razon to get this victory. Oh, yeah. Razon had a big game. 21 points, 11 rebounds, and 6 assists. This player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MBBL. With OK Bet, together we win. This could be the biggest MBBL game as of yet for Jello Razon as he has turned into the newest crowd favorite here in the Olivares Gymnasium. 21 points, but to cap it all off, that game-winning three-pointer, cold-blooded at that, to give them this victory. What a way for us to return here in Paranaque. Jello Razon is now with Sam Coloso. Maraming salamat. Kasama ko ang ating best player of the game, Jello Razon from the Paranaque Patriots. Coming in with 21 points, 11 rebounds, a career high for you, Jello. Grabe, on the last few seconds of this ball game, you shoot your shot. Isa kang bayani para sa mga Paranaque Enios. What was on your mind? Uh, ang mindset kasi namin, pagpunta pa lang namin dito, hindi kami magpapatalo. Kasi home court namin, ayaw namin mabigo yung mga taga-paranyake na sumuporta sa amin. Alam mo, napaka-motivating ng mga huddles na binibigay sa inyo ni Coach. Anong epekto nun para sa inyo? Uh, sa pagbigay ng motivate, number one si Coach Mike. Kasi lagi niya sinasabi na, sa akin, yung tumira ka lang pag sumablay, kasalanan ko. Ayun yung lagi niya sinasabi sa akin na pag sumasablay ako, siya pa yung may kasalanan. Jello, maraming Paranaquenos na nag-cheer for you tonight. And ayan, batiin mo na sila. Uh, Una-una, nagpapasalamat ako kay God na binigay sa amin yung panalo. And binabati ko si Vice Mayor Joan Villaperte, team owner namin. And top orange, Okada, Ilos. And yung family ko, sila papa, sila mama, nanonood. Girlfriend ko, si Jasmine, nanonood. And yung baby namin, baby Gio, baby Shikaina. At lahat nanonood na family ko. At sa, sa buong Paranaque, thank you sa inyo lahat. Maraming salamat and congratulations to you and your team. What a fulfilling win. Once again, that was our best player of the game, Jello Razon, from the Paranaque Patriots with a career high of 19 points. Once again, this player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL. With OK Bet, together we win. What a way for us to end this week's action of the MPBL. Two close games here in Paranaque and the Patriots defending their home court successfully. This coming Monday, we have another action-packed set of games. QC versus San Juan, Negros versus Makati. And how about that? The Pampanga Giant Lanterns defending their home court against another undefeated team here in the MPBL, the Jensen Warriors. So stay tuned for more great basketball action that will happen Monday through Saturday next week. Yes, folks, we have Wednesday action happening in the MPBL starting next week. Thank you so much for joining us. In behalf of our courtside reporter, Sam Coloso, and my partner, Nico Salva, my name is Migs Gomez. At ito po, ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Yeah,